guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Viridian. I'm back in the shade den and ready for a shade. And it is great to see you guys back. It has been about, about a month since I last did a video, a shade video. So anyway, guys, um, hope you guys had a good Halloween. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you had the time to spend it with your families and enjoy being thankful for the, for the whole year and all your blessings. But anyway, guys, today is going to be a special shave. I just, just got some stuff in the in the mail, so it's sort of a mail call, but let me go ahead and hang on one more thing. It is early in the morning, so I'm drinking my coffee here, and this is my Mickey Mouse Walt Disney World shave mug here that I purchased from an antique store, so pretty cool looking mug since I live in the land of the mouse, which is here in Florida. But anyway, coffee I'm drinking is this. Very nice coffee, actually. From Costco, this is called Manatee Coffee. It's called Caribbean Delight. It's got coconut, hazelnut, uh, caramel. It's a medium body coffee. Uh, pretty decent coffee. I mean, it was on sale. It's locally from Sanibel Island, so great coffee you can find in Costco if you guys are looking for it. But definitely check them out. So guys, this is a quick video. Uh, I'm doing a, well, none of my videos are really quick, but I'm gonna try to get to the point on this one. This is a mail, about a mail call I got and also a shave. And it's this soap I'm using here. This is uh, called Sterling Special Edition Friends Till the End. So I saw this, Rod and Manny released it about two weeks ago. And this is in tribute of their two their two dogs or canines that they had, their, their rescue dogs that they got that passed away. I'm not sure when they passed away, but I know they're not with, with them or us not right now, but this is a little, little tribute soap to them. And I thought it was pretty cool that they came out with this. Very close to the heart since I had a dog at, at when I first started getting into wet shaving, I had a dog, a small dog. He was like a 15, 20 pound pug and his name was Chester. And by the way, I have a brush I made for him. This is, this is a custom brush made by Leo Frilo, Frilo. And it was made for him after he passed away in 2007. So that is my dog right there. Uh, his name is Chester, and I'm not sure if you can see it, the letters on the coin. So this is an actual picture that, that Leo put into the uh, coin, and it's a color picture. It's, it's engraved in some kind of metal, so it's supposed to last for a long time. I'm not sure what the process is, but a very nice brush. has a, I believe, a 24 millimeter uh, game changer synthetic knot. So very, very dear to me, this brush. This, my, this is my dog that I've had... He was alive with us for 12 years. I had since you know since he was a puppy for seven at seven weeks, and he used to actually lay right here at, at my feet when I shaved. When I started, when I first got into wet shaving, you know he'd watch me. He watched me right there by the door, or, or right here, uh, you know, do the soap, uh, face lather, do the bowl lather, you know, basically, you know, watch me get into wet shaving. Uh, try you know, cut myself a few times. He watched that, you know. So he was just a comfort. And one of the things about this dog, really, I've had a couple dogs in the past. Um, when I was growing up, I had one dog named Ricky, who was a toy poodle, small dog. It was my parents' dog, but you know he was dear to me too. But this is the first dog that I actually ever owned that I actually had from a puppy. And as you guys know, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have a special needs daughter. And when she was born, he was about about a year old, and he gave a lot of comfort to me. To me, and my wife during the, during those difficult times, you know, un, you know, especially of, of uncertainty, um, he was there. He just lay next to us, you know. He would just kind of, you know, give us comfort, you know, to let us know that everything's going to be okay. So also, he was very good with my daughter. So very, very sad when he, when he passed away. But I got this brush to remember him, made by Leo Frilo. So very, very awesome that this soap came out. Kind of reminds me of that time. So friends to the end, and I'm gonna be using this soap. I've got about two, three days worth of growth on my face, and I am ready for a shave. And the razor I'll be using is my Parker 78R. This is a three-piece brass razor. I believe this came out two years ago, 2022, I believe, uh, toward the end. It's it's a very narrow handle, nice textured um, handle, nice knurling. Very, very easy to grip this. If your hands are very slippery from soap or water, you won't drop this razor. It is, it is that 
pretty pretty easy to hold. So yeah, three piece razor. It's got the uh, heavy brass uh, bottom plate and top plate, and it's made in India. So this is a this is Parker. Parker's been around for a little while. Their their razors have been pretty pretty decent. Um, they have the variant which I have, and I think I've had another razor that that I had from. I can't remember the name of the razor, but pretty good quality razor. So nice construction. This is a, a uh, this is a closed comb razor, and the blade I'll be using is the first time use blade, and the razor is a Big Ben, a super stainless. So this is a, a blade made by Lord Razor Company, which is actually Lord Blade Company, which is uh, based in Egypt. So it's an Egyptian blade. A very nice blade, by the way. I've had decent shades with, with this blade. So first use this blade. And I'm gonna put it right into the razor right now and get started with the shave. So I'll show you this. I did a review on this razor, so definitely look look at my review. I'll put it right there, the link. It I believe I did a review about maybe a year or two ago on this razor. This is a, they make three versions of this razor. I think they make a, 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 a shiny chrome version, a gunmetal, and a satin chrome uh the satin chrome finish, and which 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 you know which is that which this razor is that the satin chrome finish, chrome, uh, semi R. So guys, nice like I said, nice razor has the nice alignment on there. No problems with alignment. Also hides the blade tabs, which I love. I love this razor for that, and it also delivers really pretty comfortable shaves. Very very easy razor to get a hold you know get used to. It's very great for everyday shaving. It's an everyday driver razor really. All right, guys, let me rinse my, rinse my face, get my face fully hydrated, and I will be right back. All right, guys, got back to my shave, got my face fully hydrated and washed, ready to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out the hand, this, the artwork on here. So that black, that black lab is, I believe, they, that dog's name is Paige, and they had that. I think they got that dog, uh, Ron and Mandy, back in 2010, and the Brittany dog right there. I think her name or his name is Yachty. So they got that dog back in 2009. So so this is pretty cool, the artwork on there. And I just love the containers. I just, I just want to point out a pretty cool looking container too. It's got the soap ingredients, the title on there, the sterling emblem. There's your ingredients right there. And also has the batch number on the bottom. So that's pretty cool for, for a soap maker to do. But I do love <laughs> I, did, I just think it's pretty cool. They had this cool looking artwork on here. All right, guys, and this soap does smell very, very good. I'll tell you this more about the soap, the scent notes on the soap and the inspiration, but let's go do this shave. And I got the Friends to the End loaded up on the Leo for Low uh, custom brush in memory of my dog, Chester. So let's go ahead and do that first face lather. Hope you guys are doing good. It is, I believe it's Monday, I think. Monday or two. See, I have a few days off. I can't remember what day it is. So I had a few days off that I plan to take off from work around this time because we went to, uh, <laughs> we actually went over here to Walt Disney World. My daughter took my daughter there for to see the Christmas lights and experience uh, Magic Kingdom during the holidays, which is a sight to see. If you haven't been there, guys, uh, definitely go at night because the lights are awesome, especially the fireworks. But Main Street USA and Magic Kingdom is spectacular. Very, very nice. Very cool. Big tree. There's lots of lights. Just takes you back to that small town feel. You know, back in the day when there's Christmas lights all up and down the street. I don't know. Kind of like, kind of like a nostalgic feel to at least to me when I go there all right guys so nice face out of there so the soap base is always nice I love their soap base very simple tallow I think uh, shea butter I'll, I'll leave the list of ingredients right up there so you can see the soap base but it's been tried and true it's been working for a long time so I'm glad they stick with it I think they improved it improved upon it a few times in the past so but it just works. Very, very good, great soap base. So semi R with the Big Ben Super Stainless Blade. First pass. It's 
So about the soap, this is a special edition soap. So they, they Rod and Manny, actually from proceeds of the, of the sale of soap are gonna give a 25% back, you know, the proceeds of the, from the sale of soap to uh, the two rescue organizations. I think at least one of them where they got, where they adopted a rescue one of their dogs. I, I, th I think it was, I think it was Yachty, the, uh, the, uh, the Brittany dog that they have. And I believe they're going to give another portion of that 25% to a rescue organization in, in Paris, Arkansas, where they're based out of. Which they recently moved there, I believe, from, I think it was from Boonesville, um, Arkansas. But I can't wait to... One of these days, I'm going to go to their store. I want to check it out because I've seen pictures of it and it looks amazing from the outside. As well as the inside, all the shelves of stuff there. And definitely want to check out their coffee, uh, their roasting coffee shop they have there. Which I believe they still have it there. They had it in their other, in their other location, but not quite sure if they have it in, in this one, but... But definitely would love to come by and visit Rod and Manny in their new in their new digs there. But this is a great soap formula. Very, very slick soap. Their scents this this scent is actually inspired by Mason Francis Cartridge Cartridan uh, Buckle Rouge 540, which is a men's fragrance that came out about six or seven years ago. A very popular fragrance, um, very expensive by the way. I mean, MFK, that's, that's the initial for uh, Mason Francis Cartagon. MFK, it's been a very, they're a very high, high end brand of, of men's fragrances. I think they make some stuff for women too, but they put out some nice fragrances. Um, Grand Sior is another one that they put out, which they made in the South Flow Weight Shaver Soap Bash from last year, which I love. But I love 540 uh, Baccalaureat Rouge. And sadly, I don't have the <laughs> I don't have the cologne for that. I have a I have the cologne for it, which is a clone of Bacolet Rouge 540, which is this. This is called Red Sapphire by Sammy on Andreas, and I believe he's he's, a, he's he's in Orlando, but a uh, very small niche fragrance um, company. They make some fragrance clones, and this Red Sapphire is a clone of that. Buckle Rouge 540. To me, this one, this one smells spot on because I smelled the a sample of the uh, original, and this one smells great. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. Uh, this is very strong. This is pretty comparable to the soap that uh, Rod and Manny made, but very, very strong, nice scent, and substrate on this soap is probably about an eight. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Uh, definitely smell it in the bathroom. All right, guys. First pass, scent was amazing. The shave was amazing. The, the slickness was awesome on point, as well as the razor and the Big Ben uh, Super Stainless Blade. But guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I'll be back for that second pass. I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my second pass, my second face out of there. So, man, that first pass took off a lot of hair. Yeah, definitely the, the blade razor combination worked great with the soap slickness. Yeah, but... Yeah, very, very smooth. I can probably stop now if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep going with my shaves. Let's do that second pass here. Second face lather. And I am enjoying the the soap, the scent notes. Very, very nice. If you are a fan of Bacalot Rouge 540, this would be definitely up your, up your alley. Very, very nice. Just that scent profile is very enjoyable. Yeah, so so to get into further about the scent notes, I copied them down. They are actually the top notes are saffron, jasmine, and the middle notes are amberwood and also um, ambergris. 
and the, the uh, base notes are fir, resin, and also uh, cedar. So, yeah, definitely a nice collection of scent notes there, which makes it all smell just wonderful. Just lovely scent. And like I said, if you love that cologne, you will love this, this set by Sterling. So Ron and Manny, thumbs up, did great. This is, this smells just like the, uh, you know, like, you know, like the original that I smelled before, you know, from the, from Nordstrom, you know, you know, from, you know, the actual MFK, you know, the Buckle Rouge 540 and it smells just like this too. So if you want to spend the money for the original thing, get the next best thing, which is this one, Red Sapphire by Semi Andreas. And don't have anything, I don't have any inflation with him. I'm just pushing, I'm not really pushing it, but I'm just saying this is what, this is one of my favorite clones out there of that scent. But guys, I said it smells amazing. Do that second pass here against the grain with the 78R by Parker. And yeah, this handle does not, this knurling is very, very, this texture handle is very, 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 very nice. I mean, my hands are slippery, but I'm, get, I have a good firm grip on this handle there because it's, the knurling is, is exceptional. And I just want to point out the construction of this razor is very, very nice. Very solid too. Um, there's no, like I said, no, very easy to align the, the blade. Blade tabs don't come out, which I love. Nothing loose. When you screw this thing in, it just stays. The blade just stays firmly in place too. And this razor, I think, I believe I paid only $26 for this razor. So very good value. Cannot beat a modern brass razor for that price. Especially one like this that has a great handle. It is very, it is top heavy, so. Most of the weight is in the head, so which is, which I actually like. I feel like I can control the shade better. But just a great everyday driver. This thing, it just gets really in there under, underneath your nose and it's not really big, you know, it, has a, it doesn't have a big head to, so you can get close down underneath your nose. As I'm showing you right now. Yeah, very solid razor. Yeah, so I looked up the uh, rescue organizations that, they, that Rod and Manny are, are going to be uh, donating the proceeds to. And they are American Brittany Rescue, which is, I believe, which is based out of, um, was it Texas or Arizona? I'm not sure where they, where they used to live before. And also, uh, Forget Me Not, which is another dog rescue or, you know, animal rescue organization. I believe that is based out of Paris, Arkansas. So... Major props to uh, Man Rod and Manny for doing that. That is awesome. But awesome soap, nevertheless, and awesome shave. So we got the second pass done. And yeah, very, 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 very smooth shave. I'm going to do a touch-up pass. and am my face off, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my last pass, my touch-up pass against the grain. So I'm mainly going to go right on my cheeks here, above the, the jawline, because... This is pretty good right here, so. So, I was on YouTube last year online looking at different videos from other wet shavers, and I noticed that Shave Buster is back. Uh, I don't think he's made a video for eight years, and he finally came back, but it's nice to see him back. He was actually one of the first ones I watched when I started got into wet shaving. Uh, I believe his name is Michael uh, Bustamante, but very nice guy. I met him before. I actually met him at a shave meetup for Southwood Wet Shavers, and he, he lives somewhere in Florida. But very nice guy. I'm glad he's back. I mean, he had he helped me a lot with his content back when I was uh, getting into wet shaving, and a lot of good recommendations. I think he has a, a couple of videos right now on his channel 
I'll put a link up on his channel in either in the description or up there somewhere. But very nice guy. Very, very nice educational. He just did a video about, I believe, um, shaving with with one of these DE razor and coming, coming, you know, getting away from uh, uh, using cartridge razors. So very, very, very nice video, educational. So definitely, I highly recommend checking it out. But I'm going to go get some grain right now on this on this shave here. Not much hair to really take off because the first two passes were pretty, pretty smooth. A lot of times I only do like two passes on my shaves because I don't always chase the uh, BBS or Baby Bomb Smooth. I just do a quick, sometimes I do a quick, quick two passes on my shave, but, but if I'm enjoying a soap like this, you know, like a great soap like this, a great combination with the razor and the blade and soap, sometimes I do a three pass shave. I just enjoy the shave. A little bit longer. All right, let me go get, get some more soap there underneath the gills. Or as my old friend would say, the snot track. Uh, she shaves with Jill, my late friend that that used to do that used to do shave videos when she was was still with us. So guys, a couple, couple channels I want to give a shout out to is uh, Shaving with Pink Leg, a uh, very, very nice wet shaver, has a nice channel. It's, it's, I, I think he's based out of Florida somewhere too. I think he lives in Tampa, like around near, I wouldn't say near me, but somewhere across the uh, town, he lives up somewhere out. I mean, I have, to, have yet to meet him yet, but very, very nice, very great shave channel, nice content. And also definitely check out him, but also check out the uh, the Rusty Razor. Uh, Rusty is a gentleman that's been shaving, wet shaving. He's been doing videos for a few, I think at least two, three years. Um, if you love Sterling, a lot of Sterling content, he has a lot of Sterling soaps. He uses um, different ones, um, a lot of old school razors he uses, but definitely check him out. Uh, very, very nice guy. Um, I have yet to meet him in person, but I've talked to him before, back and forth, you know, just banter on YouTube, but very, very nice guy. But def definitely check him out. I'll leave their links below. But guys, that is a shave. That was awesome. Let me go ahead and my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys, back for the post-shave. So I did pick up the aftershave that went with the soap. Uh, this is the uh, Friends to the End aftershave with menthol. So they have an option where you can add menthol to their aftershaves, and I picked it because... Living here in sticky Florida, you definitely need a little bit more, a little bit more cooling for your face in this hot weather here, hot humid weather here. But let me go ahead and shake it up. And it is a very nice looking bottle, glass bottle with a label on there. With, uh, I believe, Paige and Yachty, their dogs from, St from Sterling Soap, from Rod and Mandy, so. And then, smells pretty, pretty spot on with the, uh, with the cologne, at least with the one I have. Let's go ahead and put this in the in the uh, pan here. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, very, very nice scent. And the menthol is nice and cooling too. Very, very nice. Very refreshing. And my eyes are kind of watering for the menthol. It is, when you, when you get them to add the extra menthol, <laughs> it is no joke. They add, they actually add pretty decent amount of menthol to their aftershaves, and which I love about their aftershaves. So, friends to the end, thumbs up. Love the scent. Uh, Baccalaureate Bacala, 540, Baccalaureate Rouge 540. Um, definitely smells very close to it. If you're a fan, definitely grab this. This is a very, very nice scent. And like I said, I love this scent. I love the uh, concept concept about you know the you know the concept about uh, behind the soap of why they made it for their two uh, their two animals they had before their two friends to the end their dogs they had that passed away 
And this shave is dedicated to them, as well as to my dog, Chester. My shave buddy that used to lay right here at my, at my feet when I got in the way of shaving. But guys, definitely great value. I think I think the soap was, was for 5.8 ounces was $14.25. And the aftershave with menthol was probably about, about the same price. Not much. Maybe 13 something. I can't remember how much the price of the of the uh, other shade was, but great value, especially when you see soaps nowadays going up and up until the thirty dollar mark for for a tub of soap, which is to me pretty insane. I guess, but man, I guess artists have to do what they have to do to to, to justify their prices with their with their you know with their unique ingredients. But if you're looking for a soap that's just just works, just, just grab Sterling. Their stuff is awesome. And their scents are awesome too, by the way. But um, great shave. Had a decent shave. This is my re my uh, recap of this. Was Friends to the End by Sterling, the special edition soap that they re released in honor of Yachty and also uh, Paige. They're, they're two rescue dogs that they, they adopted. And soap was awesome. Like I said, thumbs up. After shave was awesome too. Uh, the Cine R by Parker. Very underrated razor, very great value razor, $26, you can't beat that. And with the handle, with the satin finish, a uh, very ex exceptional construction. I just can't, can't say enough of this razor. This razor is just awesome, daily driver. I love this razor. And also the last but not least, or the next thing I'm gonna show you is, is my brush by Leo Frollo. Custom made brush with the uh, black game changer uh, synthetic knot, a uh, 24 millimeter resin handle, and the coin of my late friend Chester, and also the big the big Ben super stainless blade was on par with the shave. Great blade by Lord Razor Company or late or Lord I'm gonna say Razor Company or Lord Blade Company actually, but. Made in Egypt, great blades. I love their blades. But guys, hope you get hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week. Hope you have a good Christmas season. And I want to do some more shave videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have some more in the works that I plan to do. But I hope you guys enjoy your shaves and hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Take care.